two, we are looking at what we call an open or what we call indefinite contract. For this case of what you call an open-ended or what you call an indefinite contract, it means that you'll be working for your employer for what you call an indefinite or what you call an open period of time. And what does it mean in this case? You can terminate the contract without even giving a reason. That's why you find that some people in, uh, in these Gulf countries have always terminated or given what you call shorter notice period to their employer and they end up not even penalized. Why? Because they are in what you call an open or what you call an indefinite contract. However, something that you did definitely need to understand that of the notice period, each of these party, if each, let's say, for example, if the employer and the employer, if one of those two people wishes to terminate the contract, he will have to notify the other and give him a duration of the time before he can terminate that contract. Yes, contrary, that's what we call a notice period. They should be what you call a notice period. However, this, this notice period is going to depend on kind of the relationship or it's also going to depend on what we call the means of payment or how you are being paid. For workers whose wage are paid what you call annually or paid what you call monthly, a notification, a notification period for you to terminate that contract with your employer or your employer to terminate the, at what you call an open or what you call an indefinite contract, then for that matter, it should not be less than what you call a month in that case. If it is in what you call an open or what you call an indefinite contract in one way or the other. However, if the period of the service is five years or less, that means for that period, you have to give what you call a notice period, which shall be of what you call two months. That is why normally sometimes you find that most most of most of the contracts here, the people that have what you call uh, the, the the kind of in this guys of talking about what we call unlimited contract. Those goes are what you call far beyond what you call the fixed term because they are at five years. That's when you are allowed to terminate in one way or the other. Then that those people that have what you call open contracts uh, or what you call indefinite contracts in that case.